hi everyone you're most welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is juliana and i am so glad to welcome you to my channel it's good to have you here so in today's video i'm going to show you a simple um ponytail with just a slight modification to my upper part of my hair and so please stay tuned and work to the very end i'm beginning with smearing some shea butter in my hair i've been using shea butter to smear my hair um, for so many years now i don't remember since i started using shea butter it's been so long and um it makes my hair textured and it makes it feel heavy okay so that's what I, that's why i use shea butter <laughs> sorry my voice is kind of um cracking up i didn't wake up well i'm not feeling too good so pardon my voice and i'm going ahead to use this um hair gel called busan a friend gave it to me she says she had it from indonesia i've tried to search for it around cosmetic shops in ghana but i'm not getting i use this i use that same gel for my bridal look and everything stayed intact until the end so and i think i wore that hairstyle for our three or four days i really wish i get this kind of gel again so i am going ahead to part two lines at the upper part of my hair and i'm using the hair gel to um, apply to the lines that i have parted to make sure that they have clean patterns and i'm going ahead to use my baby cousin's oil to moisturize the hair bands so that they don't ravel with my hair when i am wrapping it is mostly safe to moisturize the hair band or any kind of hair band that you are using to ravel your hair or to tie your hair actually so that it doesn't ravel when you are removing and it will become very very easy for you to remove so when i doing the next braid you have to make sure that you are attaching the first part that you did to the second braid so that they don't all hang around before you now pack them to your back or something so you attach each individual braid to the other or to the next one before you move ahead and then tie them together to make one whole um part and then I went ahead to comb my hair parts, the parts, the other parts of my hair that I didn't braid with the hairband or that I didn't tie with the hairband. And I applied the gels, the gel on the hair according to how I want the pony to look. And to make sure that everything is clean, I went ahead to use my comb and then my hair brush. Most of the times you don't want the hair to be too differentiated from each other so you go in with a comb and then you go in with a hairbrush to put everything together okay So I left the frontal part of my hair. You can see that the edges are kind of not too laid because I thought I was going to do some baby hair in. But in the end, I ended up pushing everything at my back. So don't mind the edges. I'm going to fix it at the end of the video because I thought I was going to be doing some baby hair stylings, but then I didn't do that. And I'm going ahead to use the Got To Be Glue spray so that everything stays intact. I have other plans of this for this hair um apart from church so i use the got to be glue to stay intact most of the times i'll just leave it to the hair gel but then because i want to rock the same hairstyle for about two or three days i went ahead to use the got to be glue so that everything stays in place until i am ready to remove everything off or wash everything off 
the got to be glue spray the got to be glue spray is so cold whenever i'm spraying on my hair i feel oh my god i wish this was in my hair all the time like it's so cold and i'm spraying at the parts where i think would would easily come out um when i sweat so that is why i am spraying all over the hair you shouldn't leave hair gel and hairspray in your hair for a long time okay at most about three or four days you should remove or wash it away and i'm going ahead to attach some um hair what, what are these called hair accessories yeah onto the tied parts so that it would look very very outstanding in my hairstyle And then it was midnight when I was doing this hair, so I covered it in my scarf and I went to bed. I definitely do not want to wake up with my hair scattered all over the place. And then tada, I woke up, did my makeup and wore my dress for church. And then I pre-braided I pre -braided this before I slept. In fact, this hair extension has suffered. I have used it for my ponytails, like almost all my ponytails for about 11 months now. I don't know but it <laughs> I think I use the same hair extension for my bridal look I mean who cares so far as it still looks good who cares I beg there are a lot of ways you can protect your hair extensions to me to look very very new and smell fresh and also look so that it will also last longer I'm going to talk about it in my next videos hopefully but then there are other a lot of information on there that you can learn how to keep your hair extension so i'm going ahead to secure my hair band with this pins sometimes i leave it as it is after the after i wrap it on my hair but then this time around i felt to secure with the pins this makeup look is going to be on my ig stories and on tiktok so if you are not following me i would recommend that you look through my description box and follow me on instagram on facebook and then on tiktok that's where i normally post my shorter versions of my makeup tutorials if you need a full tutorial for this makeup i can also put it on here as well so just let me know in the comment section so I am glad that you have stayed with me until this point. I hope this hairstyle is pretty easy for you. Do have a lovely day. Thank you so much for being with me and sticking around with me. If my voice is boring, pardon me. I'm not feeling so good. I love you for watching. Have a nice day and blessed Easter holidays. Bye.